from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories the next two weeks will likely determine if the country is going to be facing a third wave of the coronavirus. Health officials confirming that there was significant activity over the Easter holiday weekend, and there is concern this could lead to more cases. There is uh, lots of concern. Uh, among the health officials as to the increase in numbers, the increase in hospitalization. There was lots of activity on, the, on lots and lots of activity. And so we are hoping that um, at the end of the day, what we saw does not inure to increasing numbers. There's the potential for greater numbers. Health Minister Wells talking to the media before yesterday's cabinet meeting. He says the Prime Minister is not afraid to make a decision on the restrictions if that becomes necessary. And the next two weeks will tell a lot. Monday's numbers are in now. Just seven confirmed cases were reported. Five of them in the capital. Grand Bahama and Abaco also had cases. Hospitalizations are increasing though. There are now 38 persons being treated in hospital. Three of them are in the intensive care unit. On another matter, Minister Wells says there's no evidence of new strains of the virus in the country at this point, and vaccinations continue. More sites are being planned than from the vaccine committee. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The government has decided to extend the corona aid program for three more months to help persons still in need. And the unemployment assistance plan is being extended for now. That from NIB Minister Rowe. Defense Force Commodore King is waiting for test results to determine if he has the coronavirus. He has been experiencing mild symptoms after being exposed to it. Police busy in court yesterday. They filed murder charges against two men in connection with recent separate murders. Two men were charged in connection with that recent $3 million drug bust in Eleuthera. And Apostle Julian Johnson charged in court in connection with that social media post that upset Police Commissioner Rowe. The Apostle is facing intentional libel charges after being questioned by CID. National exams are scheduled to begin next week, but the teachers' union is not sure that's a good idea. The union says students are inadequately prepared to take those exams right now. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Sunny skies, mild temperatures today. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 77 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 81 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. There's a high tide now, the next low around noon. Clear skies expected tonight. Lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune. The people. Paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines Brazil is now in full crisis mode because of the spread of the coronavirus there. Hospitals are filled, and the country reported more than 4,000 deaths in a 24 hour period, and that is a record. Japan is among the countries where there's an increase in cases. There is concern now that the Olympic Games, scheduled for July in Japan, could be in jeopardy. The U.S. and Iran continued nuclear arms talks in Vienna, some progress being reported, that while the European Union's medical agency is preparing to release new guidelines on the AstraZeneca corona vaccine. Tribune's gas tracker prices middle of the week shell 486 now, that's up five cents on the gallon price. SO's at 485, rubles four dollars eighty-five cents per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. There's a Shawnee sighting in the Tribune Sports. 
and she is in good form. Find out what she did at a recent meet in Florida. Get the latest on Jazz Chisholm and the Miami Marlins in Major League Baseball. They lost to the Cardinals yesterday, but he continues his good play. This is the week of the Masters Golf Tournament in Augusta in Georgia. There'll be no Tiger, so find out who else is in the field and who is favored. And get the latest NBA news, both DeAndre Ayton and Buddy Heald off last night. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.